This is the first in a series of uh, videos about making this little whole cloth quilt. Uh, I started out by marking the outer square and the inner square. And in this case, I actually used Ange two of Angela Walter's new um, quilting rulers to mark. You can see I have a little bit of a blue mark. And I'm working here on the outer square doing feathers and using that mark as the spine of the feather. And one of the things I learned somewhere along the line, and I forget who I got the information from, was when you're doing an inside curve on a curved spine feather, the way to handle that is to shorten up your fronds um, so and that will help you keep them good. So here I am coming back down along the spine to do the inside. That was the outside. Now doing the same thing on the inside. And again, when you come to do the inside curve, shorten up on your fronds and then stack them on top of each other. So as you may know, if you've watched some of my videos, I like doing feathers. Feathers are one of my favorite motifs. And now I'm going to admit there that I actually ended up taking out that very last frond because it was too large and didn't leave enough room on the other side to uh, put a frond in when I came around on the other side. So I actually did take that very last one out before I did the next side. Again, lay them on top of each other when you're doing the inside of the curve. And back down the spine to do the rest of the inside there. And you can see on this end, I made a much smaller end. So here's the second side. I'm only going to just show part of that so you can see how the ends came together. And part of that is because I don't know whether it's the speed of the machine or whether the mount is getting loose, but you can see there's a lot of shaking here. Um, and again, shorten up those fronds when you're doing the inside of a, of a curve. And then the trick is to lay them in next to the other stuff. And again, come back down. Do the other side. This whole piece is about 16, 18 inches square. It will probably end up being a pillow cover or a table runner, tabletop or something like that. And again, back down the spine to do that. And you may notice that I just picked up my clips. I hang, I put a little uh, command 
thing on and hook on and use that to hook my clips onto.